Hi, this is an example that you might like to try. It's a follow-up to my previous video where I talked to you about verbal acceleration vectors. We've got a particle P of mass 4 kilograms and it has a vector R equal to 2t cubed i minus t to the power 4j meters at time t seconds. And the question is to find the velocity, the acceleration and the force on the particle P when t equals 2 seconds. So if you'd like to try this, just give you a moment to pause the video, do come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So as I say in the previous video I showed you that to get the velocity vector, let's call it v, what we needed to do was to differentiate the position vector with respect to time. The velocity vector then was the rate of change of the position vector. So using that then the velocity vector v is going to be equal to, well if we differentiate the i component here we're going to get 2 times the power 3 is 6 and then we reduce the power by 1 so we end up with 6t squared in the i direction. And then for the j component differentiating that will give us minus 4t to the power 3 minus 4t cubed then in the j direction. And so that's our velocity vector and let's just put that in brackets and give the units which would be meters per second. Now we're asked to find the velocity when t equals 2 seconds so all we need to do is substitute when t equals 2 into our equation here. So when t equals 2 v is going to equal 6 times 2 squared in the i direction minus 4 times 2 cubed in the j direction. And so if we do that we've got 6 times 4 which is 24, 24 i then and then we've got minus 4 times 2 cubed which is 8, minus 4 times 8 is minus 32 and that's in the j direction. Let's not forget to put that in brackets then again and say that that is meters per second. So that's our velocity v when t equals 2. Next up we've got to calculate the acceleration. Now to calculate the acceleration, acceleration I showed you was the rate of change of velocity. In other words to differentiate the velocity with respect to time. And if we do that we've got the acceleration a equals and we take this equation here differentiating this for the i component we get 6 times 2 which is 12 reduce the power by 1 on the t so you get 12t in the i direction and then same again for this we're going to get minus 4 times 3 which is minus 12 reduce the power by 1 and you go down to 12t squared in the j direction and in general this will be measured in meters per second per second. Again we're just interested when t equals 2. So that acceleration a is going to be equal to 12 multiplied by 2 in the i direction minus 12 multiplied by 2 squared in the j direction. Working that out gives us 24 in the i direction minus 12 times 4 which is 48 in the j direction. And we'll put that in brackets and that's measured in meters per second per second. Lastly we've got to find the force on the particle P after 2 seconds. Now we know that force F let's say is equal to mass times acceleration. We've already got the acceleration after 2 seconds, it's down here. So essentially when t equals 2 then the force F, put therefore F equals the mass which we're told is 4 kilograms for and it's multiplied by the acceleration vector which we now know is 24i 
minus 48j. And working this out, we end up with four 24s, which are 96i, and then four lots of negative 48 is going to be minus 192j. And again, don't forget the units here, we're looking at the force where it's measured in newtons. Okay.